Hello, 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 my YouTube family. I am back once again. Tonight, I will be having some barbecue chicken with some mashed potatoes and some vegetables with some people may call sakatash. Um, and I'm going to sit down and just talk. You know, I have a lot of stuff on my mind tonight. But I thank God for life, health, and strength. And again, I know if you're watching this video, I know that you are blessed to be able to see another year, another day. And don't forget to tell God thank you. And um, again, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you are a YouTuber and um, you have a page also, leave me a comment. I would be glad to go and check your page out, to subscribe to your page, and give you the support that you greatly deserve. Tonight, to drink, I will be having a nip to tea. Um, I know I feel kind of down, but I'm going to bless this food, and I'm going to just sit down and talk a little bit. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I thank you, God, for this food. Father, I thank you for the hands that prepared this food. Lord, I pray that this food will come nourishment to the soul. Lord, it will no hurt or harm to my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, 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 amen. Again, thank you. Thank you all just for just, you know, just watching my videos and being a part of my YouTube family. I greatly appreciate it. I love you all. You know, sometimes, you know, first of all, how you doing today? I know you're I know you're blessed. I already know that. Because if you watch this, then let me know you're blessed. So just, you know, we gotta get God all the glory that he deserves, you know. And then we gotta thank him for that because he allowed us to see another day. And he allowed me to be able to just get on YouTube and do another um sit down and just have dinner with you guys and just sit down and just talk you know i i, I been a little just got a little discouraged tonight you know sometimes you know people say things that i don't know if they realize they hurt your feelings about stuff that they say you know but regardless of what we still have to love them we still have to just pray for them you know and i just got to just deliver them you know touch them either just let them know they have to mind what they say and how they treat people you know even your own family even your own family sometimes you got to cut loose from your own family you know because your own family doing the worst ones that are sit down and you know feel like they can talk to you in any kind of ways and do all type of stuff make you feel bad but i thank god that I'm not the type of person that have a very low self-esteem about myself because I think I am just the baddest one that have. I think I'm just the baddest them, and I'm going to continue to think that. But it just sometimes, you know, people do have to watch what they say because everybody do have feelings, you know? So we got to watch what we say to people. You know, people feel like because they get a job and, you know, they get on their feet, they feel like, you know, they on top of the world. But we got a mind about that because just like God bless you, he can take it away from you. And um, so we got to be careful how we, how, we, how we do people. We really do. Because I don't like the fact that I don't like when people try to make me feel like I'm not worthy or nothing. You know, I might not work right now. You know, I, I get my disability, but I still don't want for nothing because I got God on my side. I don't ask nobody for nothing. I don't beg. I don't, you know, I, that, that's not me. But if I can help you, I help you. I give you the shirt off my back. But I be dog going to sit down and let you make me feel like I'm not worthy of nothing because you've been blessed and you got a job. You know, even your own family, you know, and that's what happened to me tonight, you know, because regardless of what, they know for themselves 
this person know for itself. I don't ask for nothing. I don't ask you for nothing. But every time you call, I jump. Every time you need me to do this, I go. I don't ask you for nothing. And you know, that's that 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 really bothers me. But I'm gonna just pray about it tonight. And I'm gonna leave it in the hands of the Lord and let the good Lord work it out. God is one of peace. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. So my advice if you got people, family members that make you feel like that, you know, don't let it get to the point that you don't want to have nothing else to do with them or you don't want to be around with them or talk to them. Still love them. But you just got to know how to treat them. You know? You got to just feed them from a long hand of spoon and, and pray and hope that they see what they done is not right. And they need to apologize for it. But if not, you know, I don't wish nothing bad on nobody. I don't. Because for one, I like to see us come up in life and be able to do better for ourselves because you still have people out there pray for your pray for weakness and they wanna see you down. They don't wanna see you come up. And I'm not that type of person. I'd be glad to see anybody come up. Black, white, brown, blue, green, I don't care what color it is. If you're coming up and doing good for yourself, I'm happy for you. I really am. Because God's are wet. Just like you've been blessed, that person been blessed, you can be blessed too. Because God got a blessing with everybody name on it. Everybody name on it. He do. And we all know what we have to do to be able to get that blessing. We have to do right, live right, pray, stay in the word of God, encourage one another. You know, that's what we have to do. So I, I, I pray that whatever I'm saying, you know, reach out to someone, anyone. Because, you know, sometimes it's good to talk to people because you never know. It could be someone out there going through the same thing that you're going through and wondering how they can handle it, handle the situation. So the best way to handle the situation is just give it to God. Give it to God. Let him work it out. Even though your feelings may be hurt, but you still give it to God. Let him fight that battle. Because the battle is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. And he gonna work it out. He gonna work it out. Because life is too short for us to continue to hold in grudges against one another. Life is too short for that. You know, we gotta just keep on loving on one another, praying for one another, encouraging one another. You know, because, you know, I, I was, it's been a time I, that I was in a deep stage of depression. And I almost, I thought I was going to lose my mind. But God saw fit. And he helped me through it. And that's how I got through it. I got through it by talking to God, praying to God give my life to God and he got me through it because I actually tried to hurt myself and during the time I wouldn't even talk about it but that's the thing we got to stop being quiet and start speaking out because you never know what a person is going through you never know when I went through depression, that's when I lost my son back in 2008. Then, the next day after that, still in 2008, same month, son died on the 8th. 
my husband's sister died on the ninth. The next day, right after, and then just looking at, you know, two casters sitting up in the front of a church. I tell you, that devil goes to mess with your mind, making you feel like it's all over. You just want to end this, and you just want to end that. That's the way he had me thinking, feeling. Seven months after that, I buried my husband. Seven months after. After I buried my husband and, and, and his sister, seven months after that, I buried my husband. So you can imagine what I've been through in life. You really can imagine that that was a struggle for me. I still had a daughter. And at the time, she was 13 years, 13 years old. 12. She was 12 years old when I lost my son, when she lost her brother. Even though I know I had to beat up for her, but that devil still, that devil is something else. You hear what I say? He don't care. Whatever he feel like he can do to take advantage of you, he going to do it. And he did that. That devil had my head gone to the point that I, I, I didn't need to be here. I felt like my son was gone. Even though I had a daughter, I just felt like I had to go too. I locked myself in my room for over a week. Won't eat, wouldn't come out. Only time I came out was the shower, use the bathroom and back in that room. But when I came out, I had to make sure nobody seen me when I came out, just to hurry up and lock myself back in the room. But I thank God for a young lady, which is now my auntie. I thank God for her. Because one day she just, I don't know how she got in that room, but she got in there. And when she got in there, I was just getting ready to take bills to try to end my life. I'm talking about me. I'm telling my story. A lot of people wouldn't get on here and tell this story. But I don't mind about telling mine because guess what? This, this story here probably can save somebody else. That I thank God for her because I could have been gone. I could have been dead and gone and left the child that I do have living. All because the devil had me telling me in my head it's all over. You just want to end it. Because I wasn't no Christian. And he knew that. I always had faith. Always. There's something no matter, never take from me, my faith. But it's just that it wasn't strong enough to be able to fight that devil because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. But I tell you, I thank God for it. When she came in and she knocked me out of my hand, and I just and she just grabbed me, and I couldn't do nothing but just fall to my knees and cry out to God. And from that day, I, I, I walked in church, and I've been there ever since. Prayed out to God, praying, 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 praying. When the devil saw that, God was working in my favor. He tried to come at me through other people, through family, through through friends, you know. He had me try to think about this and think about that stuff, but nah, that didn't work. Because God took control. I gave it to him and he took control. He handled it. So I advise anybody that's going through that, you know, anybody that's going through depression, needs someone to talk to, talk to them. Don't turn them away. Don't turn them away. If you don't have time, find time. Because you never know what they're going through. Depression is nothing to play with, and it overpowers you. Sometimes I still feel kind of down sometimes, and, and 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 it's not, you know, completely gone. I still go through it every now and then, but not as bad as I was. When I do go to feeling that way, that's why I go to God. I really go to God. I get in my private room, and I sit down, and I pray to God. Mm-hmm. 
and you bring me right back to reality. I used to party. I, all I thought about was party. During the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm in a club. To so this particular night, you know, sometimes people feel like, you know, people got to realize sometimes God do things to make us see, to make us open these. And the reason I say that because before my son passed, a couple of days before my son passed, I don't my friend girl in the club. I had a couple of liquors in there. For some reason, I couldn't drink it. I could not drink it at all. For some reason, she was like, you ain't drinking? I say, you know what? I say, I feel like I need to be saved. I feel like I need to be in somebody's church. But I just kept running. I kept running. But God said, no, nah, you coming. Oh, you coming. You going to come one way or you going to come another. And when I tell you, Two days after that, that's when my son got sick and ended up in the hospital. And my son said, Mom, I'm on something to drink. I was like, well, baby, I can't give you any drink right now because they're getting ready to do some testing and they don't want you to have nothing to drink. You won't believe what my son told me. He said, Mom, you don't give me nothing to drink, I'm going to die. That's what he said. I was like, oh, boy, you ain't going nowhere. I said, you ain't going to die. I said, you're going to be all right. They're going to give you something to drink. And he turned his back to me. He turned his back to me, and he wouldn't look at me. I said, nothing else to me. Then they got rid of it and shipped him to another hospital. When he when he did ship him to another, another hospital, we was there. And when I tell you, he still wouldn't say anything. The nurse asked how old he was, and he was 15 at the time. And she said, well, I'm going to give him some medication and, um, you know, to get him, you know, relaxed and sedated so we could get ready to take him for testing. So I was like, okay, I ain't in the medical field now. But I do know, he, you know, he was small for a 15-year-old. I felt like she should have weighed him and gave him the doses of his weight size and not his age. And she gave him the doses of a 15-year-old. And shortly after she gave him that medicine, he went into cardiac arrest. Not even five minutes, like two minutes after she gave it to him. He died in my arms. In my arms. They couldn't save him. And my husband was already in the hospital, in another hospital, because he had sick and sick, so he was in another hospital, but they did bring him over to the hospital where I was. But when he got there, his son was already gone. But you know what got me through it? I felt like I wanted to blow the hospital up. I felt like I wanted to just, ooh, they killed my baby. That's all I knew. They would say, killed my son. They killed my son. And, you know, when you're young, people, they, they, they try to look at you like you don't know nothing. And I tell you, during that time, I just didn't care. I was mad with that hospital. I was upset with the hospital. But what got me through it, I had to look at it and say, I had to go to God. That's what I really had to go to God then. It took me a while. But still, when I did go to God, that's when I saw it in a different way. And I had to look at it as, if God wasn't ready for him, it don't matter how much medicine they gave him. It don't matter what they gave him. If God wasn't ready for him, he wasn't going nowhere. Because God would have pulled him right through it. So I had to look at it when God was ready. And I had to look at it. He was ready because, you know, he already had not told me what I need to do. And I kept running and went doing what God wanted me to do, and that was serve him. So he took something dear away from me. He took my son. Once he took my son, I was able to open these eyes and be able to see clearly. That's why we had to watch what we do, because God will take something so dear away from you to make you open your eyes and see. I tell you people, serve God, serve him, because that's the best thing that can ever, ever happen. I ain't perfect. I don't try to get on here and act like I'm perfect, but I thank God for life, health, and strength. And without God, I wouldn't be here.
Without God, I wouldn't have got through that. Without God, I would have been dead and gone. But I made it. I made it. So I advise you, anybody going through this, anything similar to it, give it to God. Pray about it. Give it to God. If you believe in God, give it to God. Because, you know, you have some people that don't believe in them. And the ones that don't believe in them, wrong with them, then there's something wrong with them. Because I don't know who they think wake them up every morning. I don't know who they think provide for them. I don't think, care. they might think because they got money, they provide for themselves. They wouldn't have that money went for God because God wouldn't solve it for you to be blessed and get a good job to have money. Everything you have, you get it because God allows you to have it. And he's not going to put too much on us then we can bear. So I advise you people, you know, in my family, I love you all. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Pray about it. Love on your people. Love on them. Even though they hurt your feelings, still love on them. Not only your people, your friends, you know, sister, brother, mom. If your mom's still here, love her. Love her while you can, while she's still here with you. Give her her flowers while she's living. Father, love on your father. My father did and gone, but I thank God I still have my mom. God bless her to see 80 years old, and she's still living, and I thank God for that because a lot of people don't have their mom or dad. But I thank God I still have mine, so I do whatever I can to try to love on them while I can. Because tomorrow ain't promised. Today ain't promised. Tonight ain't promised. So do the best that you can. I just want to sit down and have a little thought, you know, a little talk and conversation with you. Like I said, this channel is all about encouraging, eating, sitting down, talking, discussing. Anything you want to discuss, put it in your comments. If you don't want to put it in comments, I'm on Facebook. You can send me a private message. I'll inbox you my number. We can sit down, we can talk. I can advise you, and if you can, you can give me some information. Because you're never too old to learn. We all need advice. But make sure it's godly advice. Good advice. Again, I love you all. I thank you all for listening to me. I pray for you all. And I want you all to continue to pray for me. I'm not going to hold this video much more longer. I'm going to try to finish my food and so I can pray and read a little bit and pray and ask God for strength. And I want you to do that also. But like I said, think about what I said. Really think about it. God is a good God. Tell him thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's powerful. I'm going to sing a little bit of this song, Thank You, because I feel like, you know, I didn't feel like, because I know this is what we, we need to do. We need to tell God, thank you, because without God, we can't do nothing. Without God, I can't do nothing without God. My whole life would fail. Without God, my life will be drifting like a ship. Without Jose, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah! Uh -huh.
I just want to thank you, Lord. Don't forget to tell God, thank you. I love you, and there's nothing you could do about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the button to be notified every time I upload a video. Again, leave me a comment, anything you want to discuss, anything you want me to do, any challenge you want me to do, or you just want to just drop in and say, I love you, and I'm praying for you. That's that's just fine with me. If you're new, also let me know. If you're new, I will gladly to go and subscribe to your channel and give you all the love that you deserve. And I will support you with all the support that, you know, that is due to you. So again, be blessed. I love you. I love you. I love you. Good night.